Hey there, Finance by family. Welcome back to another tutorial. If you are looking to add USDT or Tether to your Phantom wallet, you have come to the right place. Today, I'm going to walk you through every step of the process so you can easily manage your USDT on the Solana blockchain. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated with all our latest videos. Now, let's get started. First, let's quickly go over what Phantom Wallet is and why you might want to add USDT to it. Phantom is a popular non-custodial wallet specifically designed for the Solana blockchain, allowing you to store, send, and receive various tokens including USDT. Tether USDT is a stablecoin that is pegged to the US dollar, which means it maintains a 1 is to 1 value ratio with the dollar. It's a great way to hold a stable digital asset within your Phantom Wallet. To add a USDT to your Phantom Wallet, you first need to have the Phantom Wallet installed. If you haven't done this yet, head over to the Phantom website at phantom.app and download the extension for your browser. It's available for Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and even on iOS and Android devices. Once you have installed the Phantom Wallet extension, you will need to create a new wallet or restore an existing one. If you are new, simply click on create new wallet and follow the prompts to generate a new seed phrase. Remember, it's crucial to store this seed phrase in a secure location because it's the only way to recover your wallet if you lose access. Before adding USDT, you will need some SOL, which is Solana's native cryptocurrency in your wallet to cover transaction fees. You can purchase SOL on major exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, or FTX and send it to your Phantom Wallet address. To find your wallet address, click on Deposit or Receive in the Phantom extension and you will see your address. Copy it and use it as the withdrawal address when sending SOL from an exchange. Now that you have some SOL in your wallet, it's time to add USDT. Open your Phantom Wallet and click on the Explore button. This button looks like a symbol of a planet. In the explore button, search for USDT. You should see USDT with the Tether logo. If it's not enabled already, just click on the toggle switches to enable it. Once enabled, USDT will appear in your wallet's main interface. Now, let's deposit some USDT in your wallet. You can receive USDT directly into your Phantom wallet by clicking on deposit and selecting USDT. You will be provided with a deposit address for USDT. Copy this address. Next, go to the cryptocurrency exchange where you have USDT. You can use Binance as an example, but the process is similar on the other exchanges. Go to the withdrawal section on the exchange, select USDT and paste the Phantom Wallet USDT address you copied earlier. Make sure to select the Solana SOL network to avoid any errors and minimize transfer fees. Enter the amount you want to transfer and confirm the transaction. After initiating the transfer, it may take a few minutes for the USDT to appear in your Phantom Wallet. You can check the status of the transaction in the Recent Activity section of your Phantom Wallet. Once the transaction is confirmed, your USDT will be available in your wallet. And that's it. You have successfully added USDT to your Phantom Wallet. You can now use it for trading, staking, or simply holding as a stable asset. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Financify for more crypto guides and tutorials. If you have any questions or run into any issues, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.